Hello guys and welcome to part 7 of this training. Now in the earlier parts we have uh, discussed about each and every building block there is to an Angular application and we have covered mostly all of them in detail. In this section we are going to talk about integrating our Angular uh, application with third party uh, modules and libraries. So we'll start with the material design bootstrap uh, library that we have here. So as you can see it can help you out in building beautiful templates for your uh, single page applications. Now some of the components that we have here in material design bootstrap, uh, let's say for example a few types of buttons of some sorts like these are pro components so they would be paid in that case so we won't really be able to use them. Um, same is going to be the case with uh, some other form components like uh, checkboxes and radio buttons. So in that case as well we won't be really able to use them. So for those purposes we are going to use um, the components that we have from Angular Material because it's uh, literally free of cost. So we'll be able to use them without um, investing anything in it. So we'll start with uh, Material Design Bootstrap and then we'll slowly implement or we'll slowly uh, transition to Angular Material. We'll slowly introduce it into our Angular applications. And then once time permits, um, we'll also have a look at uh, Angular Fire 2 with which you can basically integrate um, your Angular application with Firebase. So let's get started with each and every topic in this uh, training part in the next video.